Citron is a great option when it comes to emulating Switch games on your PC, and today I'm going to walk you through the setup to get you playing your favorite games. This guide is going to include setting up the actual emulator Citron, setting up your games, what the optimal settings are, how to install updates or DLC, and even how to play game mods. So to get started, you can either go to the link in the description or simply search Citron Switch Emulator. It should be the first link here click on it there is an important notice piracy is not supported nor leaked games due to potential legal reasons that one's aimed at you nintendo click i understand and this page is going to have all you need it might not look the same in the future it has had some some changes updates and whatnot but first i'll show you that you can check out the compatibility list so click that and they have a list as you can see super mario bros wonder is perfect some of them are playable there's lots of games that work great but back to the top, there's also an option to join their Discord. I'll leave that up to you, but what we want here is the download latest version. This will take us to the GitHub page, and I do suggest, especially when it comes to emulation, reading the recent update, because this isn't the first version, and they sometimes have some important stuff in here. As you can see, they brought significant improvements to graphics rendering, service implementations, and so on. It's just a good habit to have when you're downloading this sort of stuff, is to read the updates and improvements. But keep scrolling down until you see these files right here. As you can see, there is Linux, Windows, and there's even setup for Android. I'm on Windows. I'm going to be clicking this Windows zip file right here. So because it's a zip file, you do need an extraction software. I use 7-Zip, you can use WinRAR, they're both free. You can get them by Googling them, but you do need it to extract the software. So once we have that, we can exit here. I actually store all of my emulation stuff on a hard drive. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug that in. Would you look at that? It's called Smash Like. You guys can ignore the DJI action files, but I also have, I have Simu, Dolphin, Ryujin, Suyu. So if you guys are interested in my other emulator guides, check out the rest of my channel as well as my main channel. But this is the hard drive. I have my games. I have my Switch keys that I will also be using for this. I have updates and DLC, but you can place it anywhere on your computer. That's just my preference to have it all on one hard drive. So now I'm gonna open up downloads, open up the zip file here. And again, you can place this anywhere on your computer, but I'm gonna place it in my emulators folder on my hard drive. We'll let that transfer over. You can back out and delete the zip file. You no longer need it. Or you can save it just in case this emulator also gets shut down. You never know, but I'm gonna delete it for now. Exit there and now, if we go into my emulators, go into Citron Windows Canary Refresh, this is what you should see. Now, instead of always going into there to load Citron, find the exe file here. This is the actual app, right click, and you can make a shortcut. So I'm Windows 11, show more options, create shortcut right here, and at the bottom here, Citron exe shortcut. I'm gonna cut that, go back to the root of my hard drive, and I will paste it with the rest and you are welcome to rename it if you want. So now it looks a lot more clean, but now we are ready to run it. So double click the shortcut and it opened on the other screen and you'll probably get this prompt that encryption keys are missing. Just press okay and we'll get those ready. Now, if you go and load your games without the encryption key, which is your prod.keys file, it won't be able to read the games and that's why we need the key. So go to tools, install decryption keys, now I personally have mine on my hard drive under games, keys and firm, and you should have a file like this, prod.keys. Now before you go and ask in the comments if I can give it to you, I can't. You're gonna have to find it on your own. I don't wanna risk this video being taken down, but trust me guys, it's not as hard as it sounds. But once you have it, select it and press open. Decryption keys were successfully installed. We're good to go, press okay. And just so you're aware, I have a hacked Nintendo Switch that I backed up my keys and my firmware and my updates and games and all that. So I also have firmware, but to install your firmware, go to tools, install firmware, and then navigate where you have it. So I'm in games, my keys firm, and you should have a folder like this, which with whatever number your firmware you have, select it and it should install. And there you go in the bottom right here, you can see your firmware number. And now it's time to add our games. So you can double click to add a new folder. And now just locate your games folder. So mine are just in my switch folder, select it, 
and then it should load the games that are in there. Again, I do own all of these games, but now that we have our games, we need to be able to play them with our controller. Now I have a third party Nintendo Switch controller, which is really great. I use it for my Switch, my PC, my Wii U, but you can pretty well use any controller that you can connect to your computer. So my controller is connected. I'm gonna go into emulation configure and here is our settings go down to controls now you can select your input device I think it's under Xbox 360 controller yeah it's working and then here you can choose which controller you wanted to emulate I'd suggest leaving it on pro controller it should automatically map your buttons for you but if you want to do it just go ahead and click the button and then you input it and then it will change it to that button that you want but once you're done there you can press OK and you can go and add up to eight different controllers, but just press OK when you're done. Now we have our controller set up, but before we hop into a game, there's a few more things that I want to show you. So if we go back into emulation and configure, there's different hotkeys that you can use throughout playing your game. So these are good to take note of. Under UI, there's also a different theme option as well. You can change it to midnight blue. It'll change once you press OK. I'm going to press OK and see if it changes it. <laughs> and there we go. Now my emulator is midnight blue, so it has a little bit different look. But back in the configure tab, now graphics, here is where you can customize it to make your experience better. Now the API setting is best to be on Vulkan, but if your computer can't handle it, then you can try switching it to OpenGL, but it won't be as smooth. But if it means you can play the games, then it's still a win. My computer can handle Vulkan, so I'll leave it on there. Make sure the device, if you have a dedicated graphics card, make sure it has that one chosen. So mine is a 2070 Super. You can choose V-Sync mode on or off, we'll leave it on. There's full screen mode if you want it to be the entire full screen or a borderless windowed. And a quick tip, if you don't know what these settings are, you can hover over it and it'll give you a little prompt to explain it. So that's a good little trick to learn more about the emulation graphics settings. You can actually upscale it to up to 8K, but you would need a really good computer to do that. And if you're confused about the two numbers, as you can see it's 720p and 1080, that basically means if your Switch emulation is running in docked mode, it'll be 1080. If it's running in handheld, it'll be 720. So if your computer can handle it, you can put it up to two times, but honestly, I think they look fine in 1080 for me. So I'll leave it there. Bilinear is the best bet here. And anti-aliasing, SMAA is the best option there. But again, if you guys tinker with these settings and the games struggle to run, just change them to less demanding for your PC and it should help the gameplay. And next step, if you have any updates or DLC that you want to install to your game, I'll show you how to do that. So go into the top left for file, install files to NAND, and here you can navigate to your updates or DLC. So I have a folder for those. So here's my DLC file. Just select that, press open and press install. Make sure it's checked and it should install. One file was newly installed, we're good. It'll reload and now it'll show you DLC is on that game. And then of course you can do the same with the update. And another trick I'll show you is how to add mods. So if you're interested in getting mods, you can look them up on GameBanana.com. So if you want a mod for Jamboree, you can look that up, go under Games, Mario Party Jamboree, and there should be a list. There should be top ones for the month and so on, and you can explore the different options there. I already have a few, so I'm going to minimize that. To add them to the game, just right click, open mod data location, and then here is where you can place the mods and open my hard drive. I have a few on there under switch mods. One of them I have is Funky Kong. So I'll go ahead and copy it and paste it into the mod data location. Inside there should be a ROM FS file or an EXE FS file. And then you can have a folder with the mod name. So minimize that, exit there. And then if you right click the game, go to properties, you can see Funky Kong right there is ready to be played. You can check it off so you can load it without the mod or leave it checked, press OK, and then load the game. It'll show Funky Kong right there. It'll show your mod name. So that's how you play mods, but I'll show you. Let's load it up and launching just to prove that it works. Voila. 
And that's all, that's all I can show you. I don't wanna risk getting the video taken down. But there you go, you know the games work, and I hope this guide was able to help you set them up successfully. Now, if you did run into any issues, comment down below and I'll try my best to get to you. Otherwise, there are a ton of resources online, including the Citron Discord server, which was on the actual browser page. But I hope you guys have a fantastic time playing your Switch games on PC, and make sure to smash that like button. I'll see you on the next one. Stay funky and happy modding. <laughs>